feel proud of my films, but at the same time I'm not satisfied. Um, I'm not looking back too much, but sometimes when I have the retrospective, uh, I watch some of my films and uh, check if they are still relevant. And the good thing about my movies is that they age pretty well. Uh, it means they, because maybe they are pretty classical in the storytelling, and they have quite transparent style. They are not uh, susceptible to the changes of the taste so much. And they are talking about the stories, about the subjects, uh, which are, I, I think, universally relevant. So, um, so I can say that you can watch my first film or the film from the middle of my, of my journey and uh, you will have impression that you can compare it to the film I did or somebody else did a few years ago. So yeah, that is, that is good because I can have the new audience and what I'm seeing during those retrospectives when the young people are coming and watch my older films, that they don't feel that they are communicating with something which is sclerotic or dusty or old so uh, but in the same time you know when i'm watching it i i see the i see the mistakes so you never i don't have impression i did the perfect film never i think that cinema doesn't need to be reactive i think that cinema has to be visionary it means that we have to like in courageous way to face the future and not only to describe what we have and to escape from the freedom. I, I think that the cinema has to be much more courageous than it is in order to survive. If not, it will be just a product and then the people will not be paying the tickets to go to the cinema. The overall quality of European cinema is pretty good and you have a lot of talents. It, you have diversity, diversity, but in the same time, when I'm watching the film from this season and last season and before last season, I have a bit the impression like with the French wine Beaujolais Nouveau, that it arrives every year and we are excited, it can film festival or someplace, but it's not so very different from the year before. And um, it's why I think that the cinema is not really mm, connected connected to the to the to the alive pulse of the times i think it's a little it it it, it exists in some kind of the bubble a bit i i will tell that it's a little that is a little bourgeois <laughs>